Sure, yeah. I thought I was over her. I could move on, meet someone new, but I couldn't. Here I am, spending a year building houses for the less fortunate, and the only one I feel bad for is me. Because all that I could think about is Sam. I decided right then and there, the more she pushes me away, the harder I'm gonna work to get her back. That nothing and no one is gonna stand in my way. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I should get back to it. It's really good to see you, buddy. Is there any message you want me to give Sam? Yeah, that thing I was helping her out with, uh, tell her I'll have what she needs by tomorrow. Thank you, Victoria. Could you please hurry back with those results? Oh, I see we've got company. Anybody you know? Monsignor Ryan from the Archdiocese. Well, I hope I didn't get you in trouble with your boss. I'd be more worried about yours. I'm sure that's why he's here, to talk to your superiors. It's not every day a priest gets falsely accused of murder. Ah, it's the false part we have uh, yet to establish. But go on. I interrupted you. You were telling me a little story. Shepard, uh, if I could just have a few minutes of your time. I'm sorry, do I know you? Will Malloy from the Brewster Group. I'd like to talk to you about the Riverwalk project. Silly me, I thought when I didn't return your phone calls, you would get the picture. We covered all the angles on that project, from the geological surveys, the flood wall. Are you trying to tell me how to do my job? Someone should, you haven't given us a fair shot. You know why? Because I don't have to. There's a lot of ways for a land deal like this to go south, and all I need to shut you down is one. This can't be over. It's over when I say it is. So back off. You're not listening to me. This has to happen. Nice. Where'd you get it? Austining? This is the kind of people Russell Brewster has working for him these days. Ex-cons. Your boss should know by now. I don't respond well to these kind of threats. But if you want to talk to me in a language I might understand, Talk to me about how we can make this Riverwalk deal sweeter for all parties concerned, myself included. I'm feeling a little left out on this one. You get what I'm saying? I went to go talk to Will, but he wasn't there. It was just bad timing, I guess. But telling him is the right thing to do. You'll see him at the party. You could tell him then. Could be so great, you know? Having Will in this with me. But even then, a court case could take years, and the lawyer says the adoptive parents usually win these things. I'm sorry, Sam. You know what the worst part was? That day I went there. Whoever gets that nanny job is gonna have more contact with my baby than I ever will. Oh, my God. Sam. That's it. Maybe there is still a way that you can be part of Amy's life. So, uh, you're a student? Only part-time. Photography at Cooper Union. Is that a problem? No, it's just this is a very difficult decision for us. Trusting someone we hardly know to take care of our child. I understand. But I can assure you, if you hire me, when it comes to Amy, I won't be just anybody. I will treat her like she's one of my own. Again, Mr. Malloy. 
thought you'd come around to my way of doing things. And Mr. Malloy, touch me again, and I won't hesitate to send you straight back to whatever rat hole you just got released from. Bribery, the only crime you've ever committed. I guess you forgot this one, vehicular manslaughter. That conviction was expunged from my record long ago. Yeah, well, I did my research. 1986, sentence to 12 months, you served nine. You killed a man, father of three. Now, why don't you cut the crap and explain to me how some bribe no one gave a damn about compares to taking a life of an innocent man? There's a difference between a crime and an accident, detective. What kind of a person does that, hmm? What kind of a person gets behind the wheel of a car after they've been drinking? I'll tell you who. Someone who doesn't give a damn. Someone who's careless and, and irresponsible. That's not me. I never was that person, not before the accident and not after. Oh, yeah, that's the one big lie we tell ourselves, don't we? That we've changed. We've grown up. In my case, it's true. I made peace with my role in that accident long ago. A man died. You think he has peace? You think his family has peace? Why do you care so much about something that happened 20 years ago? Why don't you care more? I told you. 20 years ago, we were all very different people. Shepard from the EPA just called. Pulled me out of a very boring dinner party. Anything you'd like to tell me? It depends on what he had to say. He said the Riverwalk project's back on. Seems one of my employees took a little initiative, not to mention the $5,000 advance from petty cash. And I thought, that can't be. Will Malloy, honor student, altar boy. Here. Is that severance pay? Your bonus. Minus the five grand, of course. You're not getting fired, you're getting rewarded. What I did was illegal. I crossed the line. So you got a little dirty. What do you think, you're gonna get caught? <laughs> World doesn't work that way, buddy. Take the money, go celebrate, go get the girl of your dreams, take her out, make all her wildest dreams come true. The party is not out there. It's in